Today we are visiting Living Earth Farms in Toronto, Ontario, and we're going to be talking to Jonah and James. Now, you've probably met Jonah before. I have had some videos with him in the past. There's a couple large tours that we did it from the field.tv and we put some of the segments of those videos up here on YouTube. And Jonah does a lot of consulting. He also, you know, runs a very impressive microgreens farm that has a lot of automation and really unique characteristics, super high shelving. They're producing about a thousand flats a week, selling to a lot of retail locations. And James has been working alongside with Jonah for I think over a year now, working on a software application that helps automate your microgreens farm. So this does everything a microgreens grower would do. I was super impressed with what these young men have uh, put together and I wanted to share it with you today. This um, does the automation of Jonah's watering cycles and it does the light cycles. The software also takes orders and it even manages health and safety stuff and logs all that in there. The thing that's really unique about something that is at Jonah's farm that is very different than what I've seen at other microgreens operations is that he has specific light and watering cycles for different types of crops. And he has a kind of a different protocol for all these different crops. And they actually program this into the software. So the software can be very specific at what's allocated in different places. And James is actually gonna be showing you how some of this software works. Now, if you wanna get in touch with these guys, there'll be links in the show notes. If you wanna reach out to Jonah to learn anything about his farm or you wanna reach out about consulting, I'll have his contact information and website down there. And I'll also have the links for uh, James's software, which is a company called Vertigro, and the software is called Farmware, and that'll all be in the links in the show notes of this video. Enjoy. Guys, thanks for having me here. Thanks for coming to check it out. Yeah. Jonah, why don't you start by just telling us a bit about kind of where the the need came from, maybe a bit about, about, maybe a bit about the farm, yeah. and then, you know, where the need came from. Yeah. So I'm Jonah. I'm the founder of Living Earth Farm and uh, we started scaling up our farm quite significantly last year and we had to find a way to kind of uh, streamline all the processes by minimizing labor to be able to get the cost down low enough that we can afford the expansion that, that we, we just recently went through and uh, the automation was a, was a very key part of that to get the reliability where we needed it to be to get the cost savings um, and to have kind of the peace of mind of having the automation so that we don't have to rely on uh, people making mistakes, like it's almost foolproof. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm James, I'm the founder of Vertigro and I'm the one who built the system for Jonah here. Um, so really quickly, I'll just start this running in the background so you can see just how easy it is to set up. So all you do is you pick a crop recipe from a selection that you can create yourself. Um, this is cabbage, right Jonah? Yeah. And then put in the number of trays so you can track logistically how many trays of what crops are all throughout the farm and put the level and hit start. Ask you to confirm, again, minimizing error. And it'll start watering. It'll turn on the lights if it's within the schedule that we've set. Uh, turn off the lights as well. Um, that way you can time it for peak hour energy uses. You can also add in features like turning the lights off a certain number of hours before the harvest to again save on energy. Jonah has fans as well to dry the crops, so we've integrated that as well. Uh, and this system just manages the entire growth cycle of this crop. Once you put it in the thing and you press start, it'll just go for a week, two weeks, a month, however long the growth cycle is, and just send you a notification when it's ready to harvest. So you don't have to worry about a thing. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's, the system is super reliable. Um, we, we've saved a lot of time of checking crops. Pretty much the system is as simple as, pr like once it's set up, pressing start, and the lights, the fans, the watering is all done. Auto automatically there's no mm. need for any sort of like management of the crops uh, which saves a lot of time Absolutely. and, uh, and it, there's also a lot of farm management software built into uh, the vertigo software absolutely so because you're inputting what crops are where and when they were entered it can calculate the harvest time and it can organize all that information into an easy to use sort of like the the spreadsheet that you were using before to to manage where everything is make sure you're tracking you have enough for your orders, when you add new orders, things like that. All the logistics are also covered in this. 
um, as well. So Jonah had Wi-Fi outlets for his lights and his fans before we started working on this. And I know that's a pretty common step to take when you start to automate. So this system integrates perfectly with the Wi-Fi lights and timers or anything Wi-Fi that you already have. So reducing the amount of hardware that you need to buy. Also, all the hardware that you'd require for the irrigation system, namely the, the drains, um, tubing, uh, filters, things like that, that can all be purchased through us um, as well. So you can just get a kit and put it together, or if you'd like, we can, we can help you put it together as well. Uh, as well, like a big focus for us is modular, modularizing everything and doing as much as we can to reduce that initial price point so that people can get started and get using the system, see the value in it, and come back for more when they see how, how valuable it is to them. Yeah. So being able to start small with maybe just a few levels and then be able to integrate more expansions as you grow your farm or as you want to automate more throughout it. And the most important thing is the payback period is, is reasonable. It's less than a year. Uh, so it, it, it just it pays for itself quite fast. And then for the rest of your existence of your farm, you don't have to worry about watering. You don't have to worry about lights. It's all done for you. So you can have peace of mind. You can have the life balance that you want, which is really hard to get, as James and I know from having uh, uh, being in the process before we automated this, how difficult it is when you have a microgreens farm to kind of have that life balance. And it also gives me time to focus on growing the business, focus on sales rather than pull, like using valves to, to water. Like I can focus on the sales side of things rather than on managing the production side. Could you talk a little bit about um, what were some of the steps that you had to, before you had this? Yeah. What did it look like day in and day out with the things that this is covered? What, what were yeah. the things you had to do before? So before we had uh, the Vertigo system integrated into Living Earth Farm, we had to manually water everything. So we'd have to set timers on our phone every three minutes, check the water, make sure it's the right level, close the water, open the drain, set timers. You just had buzzing timers going around the farm all day. Um, the, we had to adjust the lights. There was a lot of human error. And then every day we had to check, okay, was this level drained? Was this level drained? Was this level drained? Was this level watered? Like, and then we had crops that would sometimes be too dry because they didn't get watered at the right you know, time and whatnot. So the system just does all of that and it, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So it's just like, again, very, uh, it just gives you that peace of mind that as a farmer, you really want when you have so many other things to worry about. Absolutely. And another thing about the reliability is not only are you getting the exact same process every single time, it gives you the opportunity to then tweak your growth recipe, right? Yeah. So you can have the rest of your farm working what you know works, but also try like, you know, a little bit less light or today a little bit more water or whatever it is to, to really maximize whether that's, you know, the, the flavor or the, the yield or whatever it is you're looking to maximize out of your crop production. Yeah. And the system is, is not just for microgreens, it's not just for vertical farms. It can be adapted to greenhouses, to gardens, to, uh, to cannabis growers. So pretty much any grower that wants to automate their farm or their garden, this software and hardware combination will work for That's them. exactly right. It's super robust and it's basically just a, a big management tool. So whether you're using valves, hydroponics, you're using you know, city water and valves uh, for here, uh, pumps, uh, irrigation in a greenhouse, whatever it is, the system can, can suit your needs. Amazing. And so where do people go if they want to find out more? If you want to find out more or even just get a conversation going about how we think we can help you, uh, the website is vertigro.io and uh, the email is hello at vertigro.io.